How's it going? Chris here. And today I'm gonna be breathing some life into a pair of shoes that are on the verge of death. A pair of Jordan 5 Supremes that desperately need my services. So let's get into the video. Okay guys, so as you can see, these Underground Railroad 5s are completely wrecked. You might as well call your boy Pastor Chris because I'm about to baptize these things. I'm about to wash away all of their sins. But on a serious note, I'm gonna be using some regular dish soap to clean these. Some nice, cheap, affordable dish soap that your mama's probably got in her kitchen. Now you don't really wanna use dish soap too often to clean your shoes because if you do it too much, it can dry out the material. But this shoe is made out of Nubuck, so I'm not really too worried about that. If you're using a leather shoe, you should be mindful of this. Once in a while is fine, but be cautious. Now, if your shoe is made out of suede, you do not wanna use the techniques I'm using in this video because suede is super delicate. But anyways, as you can see, I'm gonna be using one of my old 360 wave brushes for this video. I'm not really waving anymore. I left that lifestyle in the past. But anyways, let's get to the cleaning. Okay guys, so I basically gave up. The container of water I was using was way too small and there was just too much dirt for it. So I switched over to a bigger container and decided to just dunk the shoes in and get to scrubbing. There was dirt inside the shoe, all over the sock liner, even underneath the mesh on top of the Supreme logo. A dirty Supreme logo is a definite no-no, so drenching these was really the only option. All right, so this is what they look like once I was done scrubbing them. I swapped out the water probably three times and I basically just cleaned them until the water that I was cleaning them in wasn't brown anymore. But before I even started cleaning the shoes, I recommend taking out the laces, putting them in a bottle of water with some soap added to it for that extra strength cleaning, and then just shaking it up just to get rid of all that dirt that's attached to the laces. Then once you're done with that, put them on the side to dry. Now. You don't have to do all this hassle. You could just throw them in the washing machine with a little bit of bleach. But anyways, now that we're done with the laces and we clean the shoe, now it's time to lighten up these doo-doo brown soles. Now I'm gonna be icing these up with some CCK sole sauce. Link in the description box below if you wanna buy a bottle. I'm gonna be doing some light coats, wrapping it up, and then icing it with my indoor setup. Let's get started. days later Okay guys, so we are all done here. Make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the shoe. Do you like the way that they came out? And I'm gonna be mixing it up on this channel a little bit. So make sure to subscribe. And if you wanna be alerted when I drop a new video, hit the little bell icon down below so that when I drop videos, you'll actually see them. And 
On top of that, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Chris Custom Kicks if you want to keep up to date with me and what I'm doing on a regular basis. And thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for giving me your time and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.